infidelity is as old as love itself. When we build a foundation of trust with the person or the people that we want to form a solid relationship with, we run the risk of having that foundation broken. Once that trust is fractured, the relationship becomes unstable and may crumble to the ground along with the piece of us that we confidently place within our partner. During this time, it is important to remember that as the one who has been cheated on, you are not responsible for their infidelity. It does not matter how beautiful you are, how good of a partner you have been, or how much effort you have put into a relationship. A person who wants to cheat is going to cheat. At times, it is easy to forget that celebrities, just like us non-celebs, can experience the heartbreak that comes along with infidelity because they seem to live much grander lives than we do. However, the luxurious life associated with being a celebrity also cannot ward off a partner from cheating. Despite this, it is still shocking when we see beautiful, talented, and influential women like Dia Long become the victim of an affair. Hello and welcome back to True Celebrity News, your true source of celebrity information. We will be going over the timeline of Emi Doka and Nia Long's relationship. We will also discuss the effects that this affair must have had on Nia Long herself, as well as Nia Long the public figure. If you're interested to hear more, please continue watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. When the news first broke, actress Nia Long was blindsided many times by what's the careless way that her fiancé's infidelity had been announced. For starters, she was not given any time to process the fact that the man that she had been engaged to for over five years had been having an affair before she was being told a statement about Emi Udoka being suspended was going to be made. Then, she was never informed that the Celtics public relations team was going to allow ESPN to report about the details of Emi Udoka's suspension before they had done it. Now, Nia Long has to deal with the aftermath of the very public end of her relationship. Nia Long first met her now soon-to-be ex-fiancé in 2010 while she was in Boston filming for a pilot episode of NBC's Chase. It so happens that this was where rookie NBA player Emi Odoka had been for his away game against the Celtics. According to the Boston Globe, the two had been set up by a mutual friend and immediately clicked upon meeting in a hotel lobby where they stayed up talking until 1 o'clock in the morning. The very next day, the two met up for an official date at a nearby Italian restaurant. Conversely, not too soon after their first date, they were an official couple. After being together for about a year, Long and Udoka began to try for a baby. Normally, this would be too soon. However, Long had already been in her late 30s by this point, and it would be considered a high-risk pregnancy. Therefore, the earlier she could get pregnant, the safer her pregnancy would be. Long already had a child from her previous relationship, but she truly wanted to have a baby with Udoka, who had none. After many prayers in June 2011, Nia Long and Emi Udoka were able to announce their pregnancy. The couple told People's Magazine that they were truly happy with their decision to have a child. However, having a child was not enough for Udoka. He also wanted to get married. So after much persuasion from Udoka, he and Nia Long got engaged a few years later in 2015, much to everyone's shock. For reference, outside of having a child, Nia Long was not interested in solidifying her relationship in the traditional way. Nia has said that in many interviews that she has never held marriage high on her list of priorities. But during a promotional tour for the new Netflix movie, Fatal Affair, Long further explained her reasoning as to why she does not find marriage to be important when consolidating a relationship that is meant to be long term. Long and the co-host of the podcast show, Yes Girl, are discussing Long's character, Ellie, and her marital issues when Long begins to elaborate on her personal thoughts of marriage. Long states, Love is complicated. Let's just start there. And when you start a marriage, which I've never been married, and there's a reason for that. I understand the religious aspect of marriage, that it is beautiful and it is fantastical and it's dreamy and it's every girl's fantasy to have that moment. But I don't know that I need that to feel like I'm in a partnership that's working. Her statements on marriage were not shocking because she has stated before that she has no true interest in getting married. However, at this point, she and Ime Odoku had already been engaged for over five years. By 2021, both Nia Long and Ime Odoku were both extremely busy with their careers. Long was swimming for the best man, the final chapters, and looked both ways. Meanwhile, Udoka had just become the head coach for the Boston Celtics. However, just over a year later, Udoka would get suspended from his position towards the end of 2022, with the Celtics PR team issuing a statement that vaguely mentions Udoka had violated some policy of a sort. Though shortly after, 
ESPN would go on to report that the reason for Udoka's suspension was because he was involved in an intimate relationship with a female member of the franchise's staff. These allegations were later confirmed by Nia Long herself when she issued a statement to People's Magazine. Her statement reads, The outpouring of love and support from family, friends, and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and I will continue to focus on my children. Later, Long revealed that she had not been informed about Ime Udoka's cheating until days before he was suspended from his position. Therefore, she was truly not prepared for what was to come following the events of ESPN announcing Udoka's affair to the world. If it was not already obvious, Nia Long holds her title of mother above everything else. She talks a little bit about her admiration for motherhood in an interview with the Global Grind. Long states, My son is my world, my most valuable creation, and an image of my highest self. He comes first, always. I am blessed to have financial security, a career that keeps on giving, and the fearlessness to forge ahead when life gets complicated. I have more in my life than I have ever imagined, and I feel truly blessed to have a child. So when the Celtics PR team allowed ESPN to report on her longtime partner's infidelity without so much as a warning to her, it greatly upset her to see how it affected her family. She then turned to People in Magazine to express her distaste for the entire situation, stating, if you are in the business of protecting women, I'm sorry. No one from the Celtics organization is even called to see if I'm okay, to see if my children are okay. I think that the most heartbreaking thing about all of this was seeing my son's face when the Boston Celtics organization decided to make a very private situation public. To make matters worse, Nia Long had to hear about why her husband had been suspended from his head coach position with the rest of the world. She, of course, already knew that her husband had been caught cheating, but she was not told if or when they were going to release a statement detailing why he had been suspended. In fact, when the news had broken, Nia Long was in the middle of filming and had to step off set to collect herself before she could continue. After that devastating sequence of events, it is no surprise that soon thereafter, there was an announcement of Ime Doka and Nia Long's breakup. Unfortunately for Nia Long, she still has to deal with the aftermath of their relationship, both privately and publicly. However, she has handled the situation with grace, and has been reported by a source close to Nia Long that she is committed to working on a good co-parenting relationship for her son. Long spoke a little bit about what she has been going through behind the scenes on Yahoo's roll call. Firstly, she admitted to having a very difficult time in her life, as anyone would, but most importantly, she talks about how dehumanizing it is to be a part of a scandal while you are a public figure. This was said in regards to her former co-host and longtime friend, Will Smith. He and his wife, Jada Pickett-Smith, had been known to have very public marital issues, which involved both parties having extramarital affairs. However, Will and Jada have a strong marriage. So strong that Will slapped the taste out of the mouth of the last man who dared to insult his wife. And for that, he received major backlash. To others, this was an inappropriate outburst of emotion. But to Nia Long, who could relate to wanting to just release all of her pent-up feelings, this was simply our reminders that celebrities are also human. Nia states, He is a joyous person, but I think we all have our moments in life where we have to reconcile things that maybe we suppress. That is, it is the thing that allows me to stay connected to the people and to be human and not to try to be this perfect being, she added. And you know, I've had some pretty devastating moments in my life over the last couple of months and I've had to just say, it's all right, you'll pick yourself back up. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. You pick yourself back up and you keep it moving. Despite her strength, it is fair to acknowledge how devastating a betrayal this must have been for Nia Long. She accepted Ime Odoka's proposal despite being very adamant that she has no true interest in being married. To make matters worse, her reasoning for not wanting to be married is because she has never seen a successful marriage. This might make it all the more difficult to allow herself to trust her next partner with her heart. Lea Long also has to deal with her personal life being plastered in magazines for all to see, all the while she has to think about her sons and how ending her relationship with Emi Udoka will affect her household. In addition to her sons and her own emotions, Nia Long has to think about her image as a public figure. There are many women who look up to Nia Long and might see this as proof that marital status is not worth the trouble it brings. In a recent study, it has shown that more and more women have chosen to forego marriage. 
according to ifsstudy.org, the number of working age women ages 25 to 50 that have never been married has steadily increased, along with an overall decline in marriage rates altogether. With this in mind, it's easy to see why some women, and even some men, would quote Nia Long's story as another reason as to why they would choose not to get married. That has been our video on the timeline of Nia Long and Emir Odoko's relationship. Tell us what you think. Have you ever been cheated on? Have you ever been the one to cheat? Have you known someone that cheated? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to tune in to watch the next video. Bye.